This base is wrecked. What in the spiky ball just went and where did that go? <laughs> Yo! Invis, 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 invis. Holy heck, that's a lot of invis. All the way to the core. Wow. Wow. Synthy live. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, I didn't miss the first 30 seconds. You did. I was having a bathroom break. We got stamina versus tribe gaming in the semifinals. Let's go of the cup number three. If you don't know what the heck tournament this is, just go watch my last two videos I uploaded and you'll figure it out. Stamina Esports is VM Legacy, by the way. They got a new sponsor, changed their name. They are now called Stamina Esports. They are a golden ticket winning team. Taking on Tribe Gaming here in the semifinals at the Snapdragon Cup number two. On the other side, the other half of the bracket, HTM, the defending world champions, waiting in the grand finals for the winner of this match. These are the only three teams left in the tournament, and what in the fail? Oh gosh, the YouTube comments are gonna go crazy about this. Hawk, the player who replaced Max in all the drama. Rip. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Starting off this match in not so good of a way. That's a 95% one star for stamina esports. Exosis with the first attack for Tribe Gaming. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Lots and lots of root riders. Root Riders from the left side of the base. Queen with an angry jelly. Let's do it. Let's do it. Barbarian King Siege Barracks working on the bottom side of the base. We got two overgrowth spells. Two overgrowth spells here. Sure. Root Riders making their way into skeleton spells to help distract some of these defenses on the lower left side of the base. Poison Tower popping off. Rage spell to get us through the core. Okie dokie. Warden ability. Boom, boom, boom. Queen having to deal with a bunch of CC troops. But we got a poison spell, so that's all fine and dandy. Valkyries from the Siege Barracks moving through the outside of the base there. We overgrowth the Town Hall. We do have a second overgrowth. I think they switch to the two overgrowth format as soon as they don't have to worry about time because they got a defense. I don't think he would be using two overgrowths if he had to go for time. But two overgrowths typically more powerful. It's just also slower. I like the switch after they got the one star defense right away, bro. Tribe Gaming might get so lucky and just get carried all the way to the grand finals of this tournament by the other teams messing up. This base is wrecked. What in the spiky ball just went and where did that go? <laughs> Yo, the overgrowth caused the spiky ball to go nowhere. What the? Did anybody else see that? <laughs> Dude, that's a hilarious glitch. What in the world? Bro, that's the intro of the video right there. <laughs> I've never seen that before. What the heck? Stamina Shinthi with a fireball. Stamina in big trouble after a one star, dude. Let's see if uh, Synthi can get a five star attack to catch him back up. He's gonna be going in with a cool fireball attack. Does he even need any invis spells? Quake, quake. Invis, 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 invis. Holy heck, that's a lot of invis. All the way to the core. Wow. Wow. Synthy going for a fireball world record, bro. How many buildings did he get? What the? He got the CC, the Eagle, two poison towers, an Inferno tower, a monolith. Dude, he got like 12, 14 different buildings. Royal Champion on the right side of the base. King getting sniped early by a single target Inferno Tower. Grand Warden still getting value. Although he goes down to the air defense. Awkward. Stone Slammer's in. We still got an Archer Queen with the Healer Puppet on the bottom side of the base. She's getting pounded by the Xbox. Stone Slammer still going inside. Royal Champion popping her ability. Got a Rage Spell. Got a Spirit Fox going invisible. Two more spells to utilize. Going to finish on the Town Hall. A little risky. But these guys love to save the Town Hall for last, I guess. Um... Invis spell? Woof. Barely keeps the Royal Champion alive. She'll get the Town Hall Queen doing the Disco Dance in the Tornado Trap. She'll fight the Barbarian King. Hopefully she'll be able to take him out unless he slaps her silly. Don't even need to take him out. Just get the other storages. This is GG. Send all the extra rocket balloons that he could have swagged. It's a three star all day long for Mr. Synthi. Rikirez with the next attack for Tribe Gaming. 
See if he can uh, clan clash this base. With a whole lot of dragons and overgrowth. Giant arrow through the middle of the base. Cool. Stone slammer from the upper side of the base. Sweet. Rocket balloons for the air defense queen with healer puppet on the left. One of those healers ditched her right away for a Valkyrie. What in the world? Stone slammer dragons all doing their things. Poison spell for the archers. Monolith trying to pop off. King deployed to help the archer queen. We got a freeze to keep that queen alive. Might even need a rage spell for her. He's got a bunch. Let's see if he drops one for her. Maybe not. Pop the warn ability. Rage the dragons on the upper side of the base. Queen struggling, but she's still staying alive. There's the overgrowth. That'll keep her alive. King to fight enemy king. We got a headhunter to help support. Freeze to help the dragons. World champions in from the right side of the base. Remember, we don't got to worry about time. Just got to focus on the triple. King has a spiky ball. I guess a little bit of value there. Skeleton spell to distract. Dragon's still doing their dragon thing. Valkyrie with a healer on the left side of the base. What the heck? This is wrecked. Super dragon out of the stone slammer. We got another rage to get the core when the overgrowth expires. We do have to worry about that poison tower, but no big deal. Rikiris gets it done with all the dragons. Town hall drops. Bunny queen still alive. Wrapping around the base. Gonna get the last couple of buildings. Who cares how fast it was? Triple is a triple. Tribe Gaming keep the lead. Six stars to four. Nicely done. Stamina. Dark star. With a lot of rocket balloons. Uh, holy freaking invis spells. <laughs> Fireball to the core. He's trying to overdo or outdo what Cynthia did. Oh. Giant arrow from the left. I don't think that giant arrow got everything he wanted. More rocket balloons are in. Fireball got heckin' good value, but it costs so many spells. Jeez. Rocket balloons from every single angle. Road champion and king are in on the episode of the base. Spiky ball. Using every single offensive equipment. Dark star. We used to have the world record for fastest Town Hall 16 triple, right? I think he, somebody else took over it. This guy's known for speed, though. He's known for speed. This might be sub 60 seconds. Look at this, dude. This guy is so fast, it's actually insane. Down goes the town hall. We're at 50 seconds. Oh my gosh, invisible minions for fun. 55, 56. 56 second attack for stamina esports. Wow. The Brox is in for tribe gaming. Lots and lots of dragons. Cool. Lots of rage spells. We got an overgrowth. We're gonna go with a flame flinger. Sure. Sure. He's being patient. Let that flame flinger get the eagle artillery. Oh, he's gonna sit here and watch it for like 70 years. Seven super barbs. Unicorn on the queen. Electric owl on the grand warden. All back to classic pets that we would normally expect. Sure, sure, sure. He's actually going to let this flame flinger do his thing for like an entire minute. E-drag, baby drag, archer queen on the right with the frozen arrow and a healer puppet. Cool. Dragons from the northeast. Let's do it. Don't got to worry about the eagle artillery. Don't have a battle blimp for the town hall though, so we're just going to raw dog it right through the core. Pop that warren ability. Rage, rage again. Queen still healthy. One dragon peels off for the scatter shot. Could be good news. Tesla's on the right. Queen will easily take care of those. Dragon's still looking healthy. We got the monolith. Cool, cool. King on the left with the wall break. Flame Flinger doing his thing from the bottom side of the base. Still getting more value. Gotta fight the CC troops. No big deal. Dragons get through them pretty easily. One minion trying to take out that scatter shot on the right side. Oh gosh. Minion goes down. Never mind. We're skipping the town hall. It's gonna be a little scary. Tribe Gaming have such a big lead. I'm surprised they're going to risk any sort of one star with more overgrowth attacks on the town hall. Speaking of which, guys, Ice Golem's distracting the champion. Uh. Uh. You got to be kidding me. No freaking way he one stars, right? He rages the champion. But no freeze. No freeze. No spirit fox. Oh my gosh. Does she get it? Does she get it? <gasps> One HP RC took the town hall. <laughs> that was so freaking lucky. I think the queen would have been able to go get the town hall eventually anyway. But geez, that felt so sketchy. Tribe gaming with this big of a lead. I think it's a bad decision to be overgrowthing town halls right now. Like, you guys cannot afford a one star. 
Wow. Skeleton spell on the left side of the base. Root Riders are in with the Barbary. The Barbarian Warden. All right, that's a new one, Lux. I like it. Royal Champion at 9 o'clock. King on the bottom side with the Angry Jelly. Giant arrow through the middle of the base. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Pop the Warden ability soon. Maybe. Potentially. There it is. Keep everybody alive for now. Queen has Healer Puppet. Loses one Healer right away to the air mind. King takes the jump spell. Going to be able to go all the way to the core. Pulling the CC troops out. Sure. Siege Barracks on the upper side of the base with a wall breaker over there. Rage Tower going off on defense. Making all those defenses do a whole bunch of extra damage. We got an uh, Overgrowth. Going to use it on the Monolith, the Town Hall, the Poison Tower. One scatter shot. This is looking sketchy for Ninja. Everybody dipping away from the core. Only one Root Rider in that Rage trying to get some value. King does not have a Phoenix, so when he dies right here, he's gone. He's gone. As soon as that Overgrowth expires, the Queen's going to get absolutely bamboozled by the Monolith. Warden goes down. King is dead. Champion's getting targeted early. Super Hog Riders out of the Siege Barracks. Do we keep the Queen alive? Decides to freeze the Town Hall. Let's the Queen die. Rages and rages again. Champion carries. <coughs> Champion carries. All right. Another triple for Stamina Esports, but they still need a defense, bro. They need two defenses. Oh, boy. Chronos. Fourth attack for Tribe Gaming. This entire match lies in the hands of Tribe Gaming right now. They just got to not mess it up. So what do they do? They're going to risk it with another overgrowth for the Town Hall. All right. Big brain move from them. King on the left. Root Riders from the bottom. Queen with another angry jelly. Interesting. We're going to rage her up. We're going to pop the Warren ability. Getting a little bit of an awkward split here. Freeze the single target Inferno Tower. Send the champion, but she's going left. There's the overgrowth for the Town Hall. Scary, scary. Queen's still chilling with the angry jelly. Ice Golem slowing us down. Barbarian King has the giant gauntlet. Rage Vile combo. Poison spell is in. We're clearing the core. We're clearing the single target Inferno Tower. It's looking strong, but he's only got one rage, one freeze left. Royal Champion ability might carry. Lots of Valkyries from the top side of the base where he had the Siege Barracks. Sure. Barbarian King still getting a little bit more value. Poison Tower over there. There's the rage. There's the freeze. He's going to get away with it. Another triple for Tribe Gaming. They go four for four. And they're looking good to make their way on to the grand finals. They just got one more attack to get through. GG, Mr. Kronos. You'll get really strong if you do pull-ups every day. Fluxy, the close for stamina. What can he do with a whole lot of dragons? Battle Blimp, Warren ability, spiky ball, overgrowth early. Clone spell, rage spell for the core. Freeze as well, lots of balloons. Lots of balloons, but lots of red air bombs. Tornado trap spinning in circles. Can he get both scatter shots? He might. He might. He does. Wow. Cool. King, queen deployed on the bottom side of the base. Got the healer puppet and a frozen arrow on the queen. I think he had a spiky ball on the king. He hasn't used it yet, though. Skeleton spell on the top right. Royal champion's in over there. Sure. Overgrowth expires. He got two freezes, one rage, one poison. He needs five stars on this attack for his team to have a chance. Can he do it? Dragons on the left with the Grand Ward and Electric Owl doing their thing. King's still healthy. Queen's still healthy as well. Royal Champion going invisible time and time again. Some Super Barbarians along the outer edges of the base to help out. When do we start using the spells? Poison spell to help the Queen freeze the Town Hall. Spiky Ball doing a lot of damage. Rage Tower on defense. Who cares? We can freeze. We can rage. This is crushed. Nicely done from Mr. Fluxy. It might just be poor, poor Hawk, the newest member of this team, with the only fail of the match, maybe. And it was a one star rip. But we'll see. Tribe Gaming need to at least two star their last attack. Yo Yo 23 with the final attack of the match. All he has to do really is get the town hall. Get the town hall, get 50%. Your team's going to the grand finals. Jump spell on the upper side of the base. Siege Barracks on the right side of the base. We got Root Riders. We got Valkyries. All you need is a two star. Are you really going to overgrowth the town hall? Oh, these guys drive me crazy, bro. King with the jump spell. CC troops are coming out. Skeleton spell to distract. These guys just drive me crazy. <laughs> All you need is a two star, and you're going to risk it with an overgrowth on the town hall. I don't like it. Let's see. He'll probably crush it. Queen with the healer puppet doing her thing. Root Riders moving through the core. We are going to overgrowth the town hall. Risk it, risk it, risk it. RC out in front, but she's going invisible. We're losing some Root Riders. We're raging the Queen. He has to freeze just to try to keep her alive. He might be in trouble there. Tornado Trap hitting all his troops in the core. Super Minions out of the Siege Barracks. Popping the Warden ability. Everybody's safe for now. 
queen barely stayed alive thanks to all those spells. Everybody's skipping the town hall. He's probably going to end up being okay. But we're actually going to finish on the town hall. When all you need is a one star, you are going to risk your entire team. Oh my gosh. I think he's fine. I think he's fine, but I also think that's a crazy decision. Crazy decision to make. Rage, freeze, down goes everything. It's going to be a win for Tribe Gaming. 15 stars to 13, and we will see Tribe Gaming in the Grand Finals versus HTM. Coming up next.